Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna look at connected systems. So let's get started. Now, this is something that you wouldn't have seen in National 5 level, and it's called connected systems. So what is a connected system? Well, it says here that connected systems involve two or more objects that are physically joined together in some way. For example, two concrete blocks of different mass, a car towing a caravan or several train carriages linked together. The car towing the caravan and several carriages linked together, they are typical examples that you'll find in past papers for these kind of questions. And you'll also find things like that in the worked example video as well. It should be noted that often when dealing with connected systems, tension must be taken into account. And in case you don't really know how to describe tension, tension is the pulling force of a string, rope, cable or chain. For example, consider a 2 kilogram mass connected to a 3 kilogram trolley over a frictionless pulley. So this is a frictionless pulley that can rotate, so it means that the string connecting the 3 kilogram mass to the 2 kilogram mass can move about this point. And it says here there will be tension in the string caused by both objects which acts towards the pulley in both cases. So for the 3 kilogram mass we have the tension in the string acting towards the pulley at this point, and for the 2 kilogram mass we have the tension in the string acting upwards towards the pulley at this point. And you also notice a weight force downwards of mg due to this mass here. And this is just one example of a connected system that you might see. You might also see a situation where you've got two masses like this sitting side by side on a surface and you could be asked to calculate the unbalanced force acting on one of the masses. And what you have to do there is actually find the overall acceleration of the system to begin with by adding up the masses and putting it into f equals ma. And this is a common theme when you're doing connected system questions, is that you're probably going to want to find the acceleration of the system first before you work out anything else. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.